Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a sunset over the hills painting. I have already made mine, but I'm going to show you on a plain white piece of paper. This is my canvas. Okay, so to get started, you need a plain piece of paper, and if your paint is really watery, you put a bunch of others behind, um, under it. And you want to start with a light sketch because if you don't, then it's going to be a little awkward trying to make the... So I just started with two hills. The one that you want, the side you want the sun to be off to the side at. So right here, I have this hill coming a little further over, this hill shorter, and then this hill is the smallest in the middle. And then I have my sun coming here. So I'm gonna put my small hill right here. And then I'm gonna put my sun coming from here to the end of the little hill. All right, now we have to do the color. Okay, so you wanna start by grabbing your greens. You have three different types of green. I did dark, the darkest green on the left side and the lightest green in the middle. This one's kind of a neutral green, so then it doesn't mix it up. Okay, so here we go. I got a green, and I have a color palette, which I'm gonna dump some green into. Whoa, that was a lot of green. All right, so for this one, I'm going to, I'm going to add three different types of green. I have my acrylic paints over here, and then I have my Crayola paints. I'm just gonna use a few different ones. Um, I'm gonna use my dark green. And I'm just gonna kinda add some darkness to it. And then once I'm finished with both those, I can mix some of it together. All right, so I wanna start with a mildly big brush so then you can um, make it go faster okay so i'm gonna start with my medium green hill right here so it will look darker on a canvas so you have to add a few layers on paper but it is very very satisfying you want to make sure all your lines are going the same way if you have to add some curves add it to the entire thing. Make sure it gets really smooth. Okay, so once you finish painting the smallest hill, if you started with that one, then you're going to move on to the dark hill no matter if you did this one or this one first it doesn't really matter but remember the middle one is the lightest okay let me finish this perfect okay so now i'm gonna do my dark green hill with my dark color and if it does look too dark for you just mix in some of your light and then add it. See, perfect. That's a perfect green. Because it looks like the sun's like setting over it. Okay. And if you'd like to draw animals inside of it, you can. Because animals are lovely little creatures. I actually have three horses and a few other animals. All right, and then as you can see, I'm still finishing up, but you guys can move on to the middle one, which as I said, is the lightest. So you wanna grab your lightest green that you have. If you don't have like a light green paint, just mix like your dark green paint with your white paint to improvise. Speed through this a little bit more. 
And there you go. And if you're using a canvas, make sure you paint all the way around the outsides, like I did on this one here. So I put paint all the way around, so then it looks like a 3D effect. And you always have to have a cup of water because if you run out of the paint brushes, if you only have one, you're gonna need a cup of water, whatever paint you're using. If you're using oils, there's specifics. Um, I personally would not use oils for this painting on paper because it's really difficult. And if you run out of one type of paint, go ahead and make some more. Right now, I'm just kind of using that lighter green paint to fill in because I don't have time to mix anymore. All right, so now I have two more hills done. It's time for the lightest green hill. Okay, so what you're going to do is, since I have like a darker green in my palette over here, I'm going to take my white colored acrylic tube. Right now, I'm using titanium white acrylic paint. And you're gonna add mm -hmm. just like a little drop inside your green. And grab a mixing tool, no matter if it's like the back of a paintbrush or anything, you can use anything. So I'm just gonna pick through my paintbrushes here and use the back of an old paintbrush. That kind of looks like a stick. You have to add. Oh, that's perfect. See, it goes a long way, so you barely have to add any if you're using Crayola and acrylics. Okay, let's see how that color looks. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna stick the butt of that pencil back in there. Okay, and. You're thinking right now, what if my medium green color looks a lot like my other color? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. See, you can make this darker or lighter to your perfection, but right now I'm making this hill the darker one because this one's already lightest. You can improvise like that and it won't make any problems. All right. Now it's time for your sun. What you're going to do for your sun is, right now I have some leftover paint. I'm going to paint my number. But um, you can really use like a crimson, a scarlet, and a yellow, like a lemon color. Um, but I'm just sticking to the sample colors, like this guy and this guy. So let me grab these guys open quick. there and see I already mixed some of the paint in here so you don't really have to use it I wouldn't recommend using the same medium brush for that there all right I'm gonna dip that in there and if it turns out orange at first don't fret just mix a little more and add a little bit more yellow and if you'd like a darker sun add a little more red right now i'm just making like a orange sun I'm trying to make this fast for you guys but it's not really going that well All right, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video if you really did. Comment down below if you think I did a good sunset at the end. All right, now we are going to add our blue for our sky. I know this may sound funny because it's like in the middle of your thing and it'll be like, what? You can't add that in the middle 
but actually you can. It's really surprising to think, but you can actually add your blue first and then paint over top of it to get a really cool galaxy look. So I'm just gonna dump a little blue in my palette. There we go. You need a little bit more blue than your other colors though. So make sure you fill your palette. All right, now I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna paint the entire sky. Dark or light blue does not matter to me. I'm just grabbing a random blue and spreading it. And you don't want to jab it because it's going to look like really mess. Okay, so if you want to add a little yellow to your blue, then just like kind of dip it in your sun or go to the outer edges of your sun. And then you can kind of get that like sinking look. All right. All right, perfect. All right, we're gonna keep going here. Keep going. All right, so once you get that whole sky filled, think about what colors you want in the sky. So like if you want the sky to be like a pink and purple sunset, a red and orange sunset. I mean, I did kind of like a um, northern light sunset. So it was more pink and purple. Because I'm a girl, but that may vary from person to person. All right. Now that I'm almost finished with the sky, which I'll finish later, if I don't right now, um, you're gonna grab your pink and yellow paints. Pink and whatever other color you want. Pink is the most common in the mornings. So if you're making a morning rise, I would make it a little bit lighter blue sky. But if you're making a sunset, I would make it a darker sky for a dark. Okay, now I'm gonna add my pink to my palette here. There you go. You don't need a lot, I just have big containers of it. So we're gonna use that. Okay, now you don't even have to rinse off this brush since it has a little blue on it. You're just gonna dip like the very end and you don't wanna really paint it. You wanna streak it. So it gives it that hint in the sky. You don't want it to get overly pink, so you gotta spread it out. On a canvas, it's gonna look brighter because the canvas paint dries quickly. And my pink was really bright last night because I added like three or four coats. All right, so now that I've added my pink, you can add any other colors like yellow. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to mine. Um, I'm using yellow med, is the color of the acrylic paint. You, I bought these in tubes at Hobby Lobby. So I bought like a little case that contained everything I needed. Oh, I forgot to take the tin foil off of this one. Give me a second. Got paint in my mouth. Yuck. Don't wipe it on me. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little yellow because this acrylic paint is really expensive. Okay. Now, you're gonna dip your brush the same way and you're just gonna streak it across the sky. Yellow a little more than pink because yellow is like the base color. And I know what you're thinking, this isn't looking very good. If you want more of an effect like I did on my um, canvas, you're gonna have to wait until it dries. I just don't have time. All right, so here's my sunset on paper, a little worse than what I did on the canvas because canvases dry faster. All right, now I hope you liked this video. Subscribe if you did and give it a big thumbs up.